The polygon command is used to create equilateral closed polyline objects. The number of sides that make up my equilateral is determined during its construction. To start my polygon command, I can choose from my tool panel. Uh, I can enter polygon from the keyboard, or I can enter its keyboard alias, which is POL. The first thing I'm prompted for is the number of sides in my polygon. I'm going to say 6 and hit enter. Now it wants to know uh, the center of my polygon. If I right click you can see that I also can pick where the edge of the polygon is going to be. I'm going to pick a center point here on the screen and now I have to enter an option. My polygon is either going to be inscribed or inside an imaginary circle or it's going to be circumscribed, it's going to be drawn on the outside of an imaginary circle. I'm going to choose inscribed so that my polygon is inside a circle. And when it prompts me for the radius of that imaginary circle, I'm going to put 2, and you can see that it's drawn my six-sided polygon. Because my polygon is going to be constructed in its relationship to imaginary circle, and I need to know the radius of that circle to construct it, let's look at what we need to know to choose which of these construction methods to use. If I'm going to construct a polygon and I know the distance from point to point across my polygon, then I would use inscribed as the method and the radius of the circle would be half of the distance from point to point on my constructed polygon. If I know the distance across the flats of my polygon, then I would use circumscribed and the radius of the imaginary circle would be half of the distance across the flats of my polygon. Let's look at the construction of some common polygons uh, using these principles. Here I have a four-sided square uh, with a distance across the flats of three. I'm going to activate my polygon command and enter the number of sides at four, choose a center point for its construction, and because this is the distance across the flats, I would use circumscribed as my construction method. And the radius of that imaginary circle would be half of the distance across the flats, so 1.5, and that constructs my four-sided object. Here I have an eight-sided object, and I know the distance across the points of my polygon. So I would activate my polygon command, set the number of sides at eight, choose a center point for construction, and because I know the distance across the points, I would choose inscribed. Now the radius of my imaginary circle would be half of that distance from point to point, which would be, in this case, 4 or 2, and enter, and my 8-sided object with 4 inches across the points. When I'm using the polygon command, I can create polygons with, with any number between 3 and 1,024 sides, but in each one of these, all of the sides will be of equal length. Also, these are created as polylines, so if I click on my polygon, you'll notice that they act as one continuous line. If I wanted to break a polygon down into its individual line segments, then I would need to explode it by choosing Explode from my Modify menu, and then choosing the polygon object, and hit Enter. Now you can see that it has been separated into individual line segments, as opposed to one polyline.